The Northern Lights gave some people across America and around the world a show they've never seen before. Uh, so lucky for them. It was cloudy here in Hampton Roads, so it's really difficult to see the aurora here this past weekend. The colors are just mesmerizing, as we can see via video. Meteorologist Don Slater has a look at the science behind the hues. This was the biggest weekend, or really the biggest event, uh, in over 20 years as far as sunspots and solar activity and, of course, auroras over the weekend. If you could see them, that was the problem. I want to show you what's going on uh, with how auroras form. Uh, basically, the sun emits this solar wind. Charged protons and electrons are emitted from the sun. Uh, they cluster around the, uh, the uh, magnetic field uh, and enter the Earth's atmosphere at the very, very upper levels through the poles, through the North Pole and the South Pole. Now, with all of this, the electrons collide with various molecules uh, in the atmosphere, molecules and even atomic uh, particles of uh, oxygen and nitrogen, uh, mainly. The resulting excitation of these collisions causes varying colors based on the height uh, and type of molecules hit. And from the lowest, it's the blue auroras. Those are only, those are pretty rare. Green auroras are most common. Uh, red auroras, we had them out of this because it was a very, very active uh, situation, real, real big sunstorm. And of course, you see the top uh, top one there. Blue auroras are only seen really in the Arctic Circle. Uh, however, green auroras are most common, 60 to 90 miles out. Now, they are, are they directly over the top of, say, uh, these areas near the Canadian border? No, they're looking over the horizon. They're 60 to 190 uh, miles up, so they can see them in that direction. They're not visible at our latitude this far south uh, because of the Earth's curvature. We have to peek over the Earth at them, and they're only 60 to 190 miles up. However, the red aurora uh, involves stronger solar activity and uh, visible at our latitude because of its greater height. Now, the thing about it is it was mostly cloudy for Friday and Saturday nights, wouldn't you know? 